Hi guys, today I wanna go over some troubleshooting tips for solving your Rubik's Cube. I posted a video on how to solve a Rubik's Cube that I will link right up here and in the description box and I would highly recommend watching that video first if you haven't already since a majority of the concerns I'm gonna be addressing today came from comments from that video. Obviously there are over 43 quintillion ways a cube can be scrambled so there's no way I can get to every single person's issues but I really wanted to address the most common ones that I saw from the previous video that I made. I'll leave a list in the description box of everything I'll be covering along with their timestamps so you can actually go to the description box, find your issue, click the timestamp, and you'll go to that specific section of the video. I also received some feedback that I was going too quickly in my previous video, so for this one I did go much slower, but if you still need it to be even slower, you can actually adjust the playback speed to 0.5 or 0.75, and that should help you follow along if you're still struggling with the pace of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first really common issue that I've seen is people who have a solved white face but their bottom row is not solved. As you can see, it's still scrambled. And the reason that happens is if before you start solving your white corners, you don't make sure that your points of your white cross are with their correct colored centers. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the white cross is correct. So when you have a correct white cross, as you can see, I have my white cross here, and each point of my cross matches with its correct colored center. And if your pieces aren't matched with their correct color center, you can't move on to solving the corners. You need to make sure they're matched up first, and then you can move on. And if they're not matched up, I would recommend going back to creating your daisy and making sure your colors are lined up before you even create your white cross to ensure that the points are in the right spot. So now that you know your points are in the right spot, you can actually start to solve for your white corners. And here's a good example of a white corner that you might think is solved because it's in the right spot on the white side but as you can see, it's not in the correct spot on the other sides. So this piece actually isn't solved at all. So I'm gonna start going ahead and solving my white corners using my right trigger move, my right algorithm. So now you can see what a correctly solved white side looks like, white with white, blue with blue, red with red. And that's what you want all of your white corner pieces to look like. So here we have white, red, and green, so we're gonna move it between white, red, and green. So now we can solve for that piece using our right algorithm. And you're just gonna do it as many times as you need until it's solved. Okay, so now that one's solved, white, red, and green. We have one more corner missing. It's right here, blue, orange, and white. I'm gonna do my right algorithm as many times as I need to. And now that one's solved. Blue, orange, and white. And now we need to solve the white, green, and orange right here. This one, again, I'm gonna do a right trigger until it's solved, but this one I'm only gonna need to do once. And it's solved. So now my white side is properly solved, my bottom row is properly solved, and they're all on the correct colored face, matching with their center pieces. The next really common issue I've been seeing questions about is solving for the middle row. And I've seen some people say that all of their pieces on the top middle, so like this piece right here, have yellow on them. Which means that all of the dual colored ones that you need to solve 
are already in the middle row. And that is an unfortunate scenario because it does just take longer, but there is an easy way to solve for it. So for example, let's use this piece right here. This piece, if you have a dual colored piece in your middle row on the edge, that means it's stuck, okay? And you need to get it out to be on the top row before you can actually use it to solve. So how do you get it out of being stuck? You're gonna need to place this piece, for example, up here. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, how do I do that? You're gonna do it with a right trigger move. Now, you might think, oh great, now I can solve it. No. You can't do anything in the second row until you put your white piece back on the white face. That's the most important takeaway for the middle row, in my opinion, is always remembering to put the white piece back before you move on. So we have a white piece right here in the upper right-hand corner. So the way we're gonna put it back is by rotating the cube once to the left, which is a little counterintuitive seeing as it's in the upper right-hand corner but that's sort of how you remember it, by remembering to do the opposite. So it's in the upper right, turn the cube once to the left, do one left trigger move. Now the white side is back to being all solved. And we have that piece that we wanted to take out right here and ready to be solved for. A next common issue that you might be running into is if you're trying to solve for this piece right here, you want it to go into the orange and blue side, you need to make sure that this piece is matched up with its correct color center. You aren't gonna be able to solve this blue and orange piece to go between blue and orange if the orange is not matched up. So you have to make sure you start with the piece matched up and then determine where it needs to go. So once it's matched up with its home, we know it needs to drop into the right side, right? We need it to go right here, which is to the right of the center. And again, with a little bit of counterintuitive knowledge, you need to first push the piece away from where it needs to go and then do a right trigger move. And again, the next most important step is to make sure that you put the white back into its spot. And since it's in the upper right hand corner, that means we're gonna turn the cube once to the left, do one left algorithm, and now it's solved. And you're gonna keep doing that for every single piece that has two colors that aren't yellow. So let's do it for this one right here. We have red and blue. We'll bring it to the red side to start and then determine where it needs to go. It needs to go to the left, which means we're gonna push it away to start. Then do one left algorithm. And now that my white piece is in the upper left-hand corner, that means I need to turn my cube once to the right. Do one right algorithm. And now that piece is home and this piece is solved for. So I'm gonna go ahead and of course, with this piece stuck or oriented the wrong way, I'm gonna remove it by putting it up here and then I can solve for it. So I'll do my right trigger, put my white piece back. And now I can solve for this piece by bringing red to the red side and then putting it back into here by pushing it away, doing one right algorithm, turning my cube to the left so I can put that white piece back. And now my entire middle row is solved and my white face is still solved as well. 
The next step is to solve for the yellow cross on the top face. And before you start the algorithm to create the yellow cross, which I will show you in just a second, you need to determine where you're gonna begin the algorithm from. And you're gonna do that by taking a look at your top face here. And you might see a couple of things. You might see a vertical line, which is what I have. You might see a horizontal line. If you have a vertical line, all you need to do is rotate your whole cube so that it's horizontal. If you have a horizontal line, you can then start this algorithm with the yellow line remaining horizontal. You might have a yellow center with no yellow pieces surrounding it at all. In that case, you can do this next algorithm from anywhere. And you might have an L shape or kind of a yellow square. If you have either an L shape or a yellow square, you wanna make sure that that's in the back left section of your top face. So imagine this piece being yellow. You'd want your L shape in the back left corner before you start this next algorithm. So determine which one of those things you have, orient your cube the proper way, and then start this algorithm. And this is a new one, and it goes like this. You're gonna rotate the front face clockwise once so that you have a yellow line on the left-hand side. You're gonna do one right algorithm. Then, you're gonna put the white face back. And you're gonna do that as many times as you need until you have a yellow cross. So now that I have a yellow cross, my next step, similarly to when we made the white cross, we need to make sure the points of our cross are with their proper colored centers. So let's see how many I have. I have greens in the right spot, blues in the right spot, so I have two. At this step, you're either gonna have two points of your cross will be in the right spot or all four. If you have all four, then you just are gonna skip this step and move on to the next one. But I have two, so I'm gonna show you the algorithm that you need to get all four properly oriented before you move on. So in my case, I have the two points of my cross are on the opposite sides of the cube. So I'm gonna be able to do this algorithm from any orientation of my cube, it does not matter. But if you have two completed sides adjacent to one another, you'll wanna make sure you orient your cube with the adjacent sides in the back right corner. So once you have your cube oriented the proper way, either with the adjacent sides in the back right corner or with your two completed sides across from each other, you can begin this algorithm and this is another new one. So what you're gonna do is turn the right face once clockwise and you'll see this white line here. You'll also notice these two pieces are going to travel around the cube and end up right here. So once you rotate your right face once clockwise, you're gonna rotate the top face clockwise and you're gonna rotate your right side back down. You're gonna rotate your top face clockwise again so as you can see, those two pieces are now in the back left corner. Then you're gonna rotate the right side up one more time. And then rotate the top face counterclockwise until you have your white line matched up and those two pieces you started with are back to where they started. Then you can flip the right face back down. And if you did that correctly, you should now have two adjacent sides if you started with them across from one another. And if you started with them adjacent, all four of your points should be solved. So now that I have the two adjacent sides, I'm gonna do that step one more time. And now all four points of my yellow cross are with their proper center colored pieces. So then the next step is to get all of your yellow corners in the proper location, even if they're oriented 
the wrong way, you just want them to get to the right location. And once you reach this step, you'll either have zero corners solved, one corner, or four corners. And in my case, as you can see, none of my corners are in the right spot. So I'm gonna be able to start this algorithm from anywhere. If you have one corner in the correct spot, you wanna make sure it's in your bottom right corner of your top face before you do this algorithm. And if you have all four in the correct spot, you can just move on to the final step. But this is also a new algorithm, so I'm gonna start it from any orientation of my cube since none of them are in the right spot. And this is what this algorithm looks like. Top face clockwise, right face up, top face counterclockwise, left face up, top face clockwise, right side down, top face counterclockwise, left face down. And now let's see if any of them went to the right spot. Here we have one now. We have yellow, red, and blue. So I'm gonna do this algorithm again, now that I have one in the correct spot, and I'm gonna keep this one in the front right like I mentioned before. And you're just gonna do that as many times as you need to until all of your corners are in the right spot. And as you can see, I did it twice and now all of my corners are in the correct spot. And I even have one that's oriented the proper way, which is great. But once your corners are all in their proper positions, you can flip the cube upside down until the yellow cross is on the bottom face. And now your number one goal is to get all of the yellow pieces onto the yellow face. And the way you do that is by using a right algorithm. But before you start, make note of which color face you're starting with because you never wanna rotate your cube on this step. You wanna keep it on the same side the entire time, okay? So I'm gonna start on the blue side and make sure that I stay on the blue side the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a right algorithm until my yellow piece right here gets to the yellow side. Here we go. And I'm just gonna do that as many times as I need. And now the yellow piece is on the yellow face and the rest of my cube looks really scrambled and that's gonna happen on this last step. Your cube is gonna look very scrambled, but as long as you're putting the yellow pieces onto the yellow face, you're doing this right. Once you get one piece done, what you're gonna do is keep your cube oriented the same way and just rotate this bottom row once. And then again, I'm gonna solve for this yellow to go right here using the right trigger as many times as I need. Now the yellow is at home and we don't care about any other sides for this last step. All we care about is yellow. So once yellow has made it to the yellow face, we're gonna stay on the blue side, rotate our bottom row once more, do a right algorithm until this piece gets here. And it is home and our cube is solved. So for the yellow side, just remember to get the yellow pieces home regardless of what the other two corners look like. Your cube might be really scrambled, but as long as you're keeping your cube on the same side and just rotating the bottom row and getting those yellow pieces to the yellow face, you're doing it right. And then your cube should be solved. 
That's it for today. I really hope that this video helped you. I hope you were able to solve your cube using these tips if you weren't before. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I will see you in my next video. Bye.